Ba -da 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 -da. What's going on everyone? Honda Fit for Adventure here, and today we're going to be installing an Acuity Instruments throttle pedal spacer, also known as a throttle pedal relocator. What does it do? Well, it does exactly that. It relocates the throttle pedal closer to the driver and closer to the brake pedal. This helps with the foot placement for the heel to toe shifting technique. Just to be fair, this is more of a track modification and for people with small feet, and my review is just going to be based on daily driving with a size 17 shoe. If I don't track my car, then why did I buy this? Honestly, I never planned to, but after visiting the Tail of the Dragon, which is an 11 mile road with 319 turns, there was a lot of shifting, braking, and accelerating, and I could see how the pedal relocator would be helpful with this style of driving. Maybe that acuity heel toe thing. What to expect after installation. After installation, you should find it easier to position your right foot such as you are able to simultaneously control both the brake and accelerator pedals. This will allow you to use the heel to toe shifting technique executing turns that require braking. It's on the gas but like this creep over, smash both. On racetracks only of course. I get it. In layman's terms, your gas pedal is about three quarter inches lower than your brake pedal. Installing the throttle spacer levels out the gas pedal to the lateral position as the brake pedal. Now you have the ability to just slide your foot over from the gas to the brake pedal without lifting up. You then have three positions to choose from that will move the gas pedal up, left, or down. Depending on the position you have chosen, the alignment of the brake and accelerator position will vary. Acuity Instruments strongly suggest trying all three positions over time to determine which position suits you best. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Position A. This moves the pedal closest to the driver. Now I'm 6 foot 5 with a size 17 shoe, so moving the gas pedal closer to me made it extremely uncomfortable putting my foot in a dorsiflexion position. Position B. Position B is slightly further from the driver than position A and slightly closer to the brake pedal laterally. I thought this position was quite dangerous for day-to-day -day driving, at least with my big feet, because there were several times where I went to step on the brake pedal and ended up touching the gas pedal as well. Position C. Position C is the furthest from the driver, still closer than the stock position, and also moves the accelerator pedal closer to the brake pedal laterally. I felt this position was the most comfortable for day-to-day -day driving and closest to the stock position. Nice safety buffer. The other one was more about there in the stock position. This one seems like about the three ace range. After testing out all three positions, I went back to the stock configuration and was slightly annoyed that my gas pedal was no longer at the same height as my brake pedal. I wanted to slide my foot over from the gas to the brake pedal, but no longer could because the brake pedal was slightly higher and now in the way. Now I can really understand what this was meant for and how it can help improve your day-to-day -day driving experience. Gas, 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 slide over brake, brake, brake. Gas, 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 slide over the brake, brake, gas, hit both. In conclusion, I would recommend daily driving with the pedal in position C and switching the pedal to location A or B once you arrive at the track. The pedal relocation process only takes about five to seven minutes. Installation. To install this product, you're going to need a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket with extension, a five millimeter Allen wrench, possibly a U-joint and a torque wrench. The typical install time is said to be about 30 minutes, but I would plan on 45. The installation oh. is easy, but it is in a tight space, which can make things difficult or at least one bolt a bit tricky to remove. Step one, disconnect your battery. It's always important to disconnect your battery before working with any electronics. Keep in mind, our gas pedal is now digital in a drive-by-wire system, and this is why we are going to disconnect the battery. Step two, remove your accelerator pedal. Start off by disconnecting the pedal's electrical connection from the gas pedal. I'm not going to lie, removing and reinstalling your gas pedal can seem a bit intimidating, but it is pretty easy and not that complicated. 
Next, use a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet and remove the three nuts securing the pedal to the floorboard. Gonna be hard to get in here with a light, a camera, and a tool. The top nut is going to be the most difficult one. Not only is it tucked up and out of the way, your socket wrench may also back up into the lower part of your dashboard while backing off the nut. Once all three nuts have been removed, you can now slide off your gas pedal. Step three, install Acuity Accelerator Relocation Bracket. Slide the bracket on to the OEM mounting studs. Next, reinstall the three OEM nuts to secure down the throttle spacer and then torque them down to 10 foot pounds of torque. Step four, reinstall your accelerator pedal. Select the desired pedal position and bolt it down to the pedal relocator using the supplied M8 hardware. Once again, torque these down to 10 foot-pounds of torque. Now all we need to do is connect the pedal wiring harness to the gas pedal. Plug it up. Reconnect our battery and we're all set. That's going to wrap up today's video. This summer, I will be attending Autobahn Driving School where I will be getting some one-on-one -on -one time with an instructor and learning the proper heel-to-toe driving technique along with a few more things. Stay tuned and stay fit.